Hey guys, Larry here to give you another guide, this time for Falco. Before I go into detail about Falco, I'm going to give you a few strengths and weaknesses to playing him to see if he fits the character you are looking for. Falco has a great combo game, really good at shield poking, is a good edge guarder, and has amazing counterplay against projectile zoners. On the downside, his lack of horizontal mobility can make neutral difficult, he has a linear recovery, past certain percents killing can be difficult, and he is pretty light. If you still want to play Falco after hearing all of that, then let's get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about is how neutral should be played as Falco. When it comes to playing neutral, there are two key strengths that he has you need to utilize. Those are shield poking and anti airy Laser is going to be one of your best tools to set the pace of the match. It comes out incredibly fast, is difficult to react to, and can make your opponent think twice about their approaching options. Be careful about how you do this as it can be punished on hit up close. The reason you want to use laser neutral is that it'll make your opponent more inclined to approach and can also condition your opponent to shield more in certain spots or jump. If your opponent is shielding, one of your strongest pressure options is down tilt. Up close, it can push most characters far enough away so that they can't shield grab it, and if spaced, only tether characters are able to do it, but you'll have enough time to jump over their grabs. Forward air is also really good to tack on shield damage. Like down tilt, if space most characters can't shield grab it, or even punish it in general. If they blocked your down tilt or forward air, you should now be able to poke their shields with a few moves. You can use forward air, up air, neutral air, reverse up tilt, or a space down tilt to poke their shields. Out of the five, reverse up tilt is by far the most reliable for poking shields, and can also net you a lot of damage being one of his best combo starters. Something to note about forward air is that once your opponent shields the attack, they cannot parry in between the hits. The only exception to this is if you position forward air to the point where there is a huge gap in between when the final aerial hitbox and landing hitbox comes out. Of course, if your opponent is shielding, you can always go for a grab, which is amazing for Falco at low to mid percents, but it's also more punishable and at higher percents Falco will not get much off of a grab. So with all the stuff I mentioned, it'll make your opponent more inclined to jump. But luckily, Falco has some incredibly strong anti-airing options. Up tilt, up air, or up smash can punish opponents trying to land on top of you. Border is really good at catching opponents as they jump, and if you're fortunate enough to catch the opponent as you're rising, you can fast fall and consistently combo into up tilt or grab. Now that I've covered neutral, let's talk about Falco's advantage state. Once you get a solid hit on your opponent, your main goal is to keep them in the air by juggling them with up air, or to catch your landings with side B, up tilt, grab, or dash attack and putting them back in the air again until they're at kill percent or a position to edge guard them. Depending on the character you're playing against, you may want to focus more on catching their landings instead of juggling them, or vice versa. Typically a character that has fast and big disjointed hitboxes below them, you want to focus more on catching their landings. If you don't think you're in a spot to juggle them or catch their landings, just make sure you keep center stage. When going for up airs, make sure to throw out the attack as soon as you jump and fast fall, or do it just before you land in order to give yourself more time to react to what your opponent does. At 0%, up throw can combo into any of Falco's aerials. The best one to use in most situations is going to be up air. Depending on the character you're playing against, after the first up air, you can position yourself to get another one. The second up air won't be a combo, but depending on how you position yourself, the opponent most likely will only be able to air dodge, which you should have enough time to punch. Platforms will also give you more guaranteed follow-ups. At mid to high percent, up air can still combo into up air or back air. Instead of doing up throw, you can go for down throw, which can combo into up tilt or forward air against floatier characters, even if they DI away. If you're playing against a non-floaty character, you'll have to tech chase them in order to land up tilt if they're DIing away. If the opponent DIs in or doesn't DI at all, you should be able to combo into up tilt or forward air. Past mid percent, Falco shouldn't be able to get any follow-ups out of down throw unless the opponent DIs in. Since I'm talking about throws, I want to talk about Falco's quote-unquote kill throw and how to DI it. Just DI down and behind Falco, and the laser should never connect, which means you should never die from it. In terms of edge guarding with Falco, your two important tools to use are going to be his lasers and forward air. If your opponent is far away from you off stage, you want to try and snipe their jump with a laser or at the very least kill their horizontal drift. 
If they're closer, gauge where you think they will drift to and go off stage and forward air them. Something to note is that you can run off stage and do an immediate forward air, then double jump and directional air dodge up to make it back. This makes it more difficult for your edge guard to be reversal because you don't have to use your laggy up B. If your opponent is recovering high, depending on their percent, I'd recommend going for a back air or up air to take their stock if possible. If it's not, try to send them back off stage or put them in a juggle situation. Sometimes it's not in your best interest to go for an edge guard, but fortunately, Falco has some pretty solid edge trapping tools. Forward air can cover all of your opponent's get up options, except waiting at the edge and opponents who drop from the edge and attack with a disjointed hitbox. If the opponent waits at the edge for too long, you can punish them with down air, down smash, or forward smash. In terms of killing with Falco, your best setup is going to be up tilt. It can combo into back air at kill percent, and can also be comboed into with neutral air and drag down forward. At percents where up tilt back air doesn't combo anymore, you can go for up tilt up air, which shouldn't kill if the opponent dies it correctly, but you have the opportunity to mix up their DI depending on what side you're on. Forward air drag down up smash, down smash, and down tilt can kill along with an air up smash and down smash, but setting up for them can be difficult and requires strict timing to combo. Down air can reliably set up for kills since it combos into any of Falco's aerials, even at high percents, but it can be difficult to land. Recovering with Falco can be kind of tricky, but if you utilize all your tools at your disposal, it's deceptively good. Something you always need to be mindful of as Falco is keeping your double jump. It goes about as high as its full hop, which means if you believe an opponent is going to chase you off stage, it's normally incredibly easy to jump over them. When using your double jump, you should only use it in situations where you believe it will guarantee you getting to the edge or landing on stage. You never want to burn your double jump early unless you have to. Don't be afraid to throw out aerials to get an opponent off of you while using your double jump. Unless you're incredibly low, you can normally make it back to the stage, and hitting your opponent will usually safely clear a path to your recovery. Directional air dodge is incredibly good with Falco. It goes a decently far distance and allows him to not have to use up B, which is his slowest recovery move. If you have the option to grab the edge using directional air dodge over up B, 9 times out of 10 you should pick that option. The only time you win is if you think your opponent is waiting for it and you want to mix up your recovery using up B. The best ways to use side B to recover is to go incredibly high, aim for the edge, or go super low. If you don't think your opponent is expecting it, you can also aim the side B at them which will spike them if they're in the air, or if they're on the ground will pop them up for a combo. But be careful because if they are expecting it, you may be punished pretty hard. Up B is a good option if your opponent is expecting a side B or an air dodge and you want to throw off their timing, or if you just have no more resources left and have to use it. That is it for my Falco guide, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like and comment, and if you really enjoyed it, you can also subscribe to my channel. I'm also giving away a switch to one lucky winner, link to how to enter is in the description. You have until January 2nd to enter, which is also when I will announce the winner. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.